Hey everybody, Quinn here with Tactical and Practical. Today we're going to talk a little bit about maximum point blank range, what it is, and um, how to figure it out for your particular uh, cartridge. First of all, what is maximum point blank range? Well, it's a way to figure the zero of your rifle so that you can shoot to a specified or a determined distance without having to worry about holdover. With your precision shooting, you want to be right on the bowl. But when you're trying to put meat in the freezer, maybe that's not as important as just making an ethical shot to take down an animal. Uh, it's often, people often say there's an eight inch vital zone on, an, on a large animal, typically deer, right? Or maybe a hog. Um, I personally like to consider a six inch uh, vital zone because that just gives me a little cushion in case I make uh, a little mistake in my technique. The idea is that if this is six inches, right, and there's a dot in the middle, you want to know at what distance your bullet can travel without leaving this cone, which for six would be three up and three down to give you six total. So where do I zero my rifle so that I know all along the arc of that trajectory, that bullet will not deviate to a point that it is plus three inches or minus three inches because then it would be out, outside of that cone. Once you know that and you zero your rifle appropriately, that allows you to shoot from zero yards out to that calculated distance without having to consider holdover at all. You still have to worry about your windage um, and sometimes windage can affect the uh, vertical movement of a bullet. So there are still some variables to consider uh, based on environmental conditions, but at least you have an idea of the capabilities of the range of your weapon without having to consider them in your head. Uh, we're gonna show you how that works using a free uh, resource on the internet. I hope it uh, is useful. And particularly if it's for a hunting rifle, I, I find this is very useful. All my hunting rifles are zeroed using the maximum point blank range technique to figure out kind of what the optimum zero is for a given caliber. I hope you get something out of this. Play with the calculator yourself, see what you come up with. Hopefully it'll help you put some meat in the freezer to feed your family. And uh, if you enjoy this video, please take the time to like it and subscribe. I really appreciate you visiting and I hope you get something out of uh, the next few minutes as we go through the tool and how to use it and um, kind of reiterate what it means. So see you guys later. Talk to you soon. Okay, uh, for this portion of the chat, it's going to be a tutorial that will show you how to figure this out yourself. To begin, uh, it's important to understand the difference between accuracy and precision. Um, they, they both kind of relate to the same thing, but they're very different concepts. And I think this little chart here does a great job. Reticle on the upper left, accurate but not precise. Accurate in that the shots are all kind of grouped around the crosshairs, but they're not real tight, right? As opposed to the lower right, where you see the shots are grouped very tightly. They're grouped in a very precise fashion, but they're not on the bull, so they are not accurate. Bottom left is the best, or pardon me, the worst of both worlds, not accurate, not precise, it looks like every shot was a flyer. And then upper right, the group is tight and it's on target. That is precise and accurate. For my precision gun, that's what I strive for, precise and accurate. Um, for my hunting guns though, I've started to take a different approach, realizing that if accurate gets the job done, I should be happy with accurate. And if I'm willing to think in terms of accuracy and not precision, it enables me to uh, zero my rifles so that they are um, more effective as working rifles and I have to think less and hold over less. That's really the idea. Um, also with like my lever gun, um, I, I am, it will shoot pretty tight groups, but I just, the trigger pull on it's kind of heavy. My, it's a shortcoming of mine that I am not a precise shooter with that gun. I try sometimes and often I just end up getting frustrated. So um, that leads us to a discussion of maximum point blank range. There's a really great website, shooterscalculator.com. It's free. I highly recommend you check it out. 
Uh, to start with, maximum point blank range, you just click here, and this makes it super simple. Ballistic coefficient on the lever evolution, uh, 165 grain bullet is this number, uh, or is it 3131? Hmm. Well, for the purposes of illustration, we'll leave it where it is. Um, 3, 1. 3, 3, 1. Okay, initial velocity out of that gun, I believe, is 2,700. Sight height, 1.5. Target size, you put this in. Now, um, the target size, if we're talking about like deer and pigs, um, the upland large ungulates, uh, as this website indicates, Vital zone is probably eight inches. Um, I usually put in six inches because then it gives me a little extra cushion built in uh, in case I am uh, at fault and slightly off. It gives me a little bit more um, flexibility as far as a comfort zone for if I screw up something a little bit, I have a little built in cushion. So you hit calculate point blank range and here's what it tells you. Now the idea is if you're, say, your, whatever your target size is, that means vital zone for what we're using this for, is six inches. You have to remember that if you have a six inch circle, there's a dot in the middle. It's three inches from the dot up and three inches from the dot down. So what this is doing for you is calculating where you need to zero your gun so that, so you say far zero is 220. So with the 220 zero, that bullet will not travel lower or higher than three inches up or down from zero yards to 258 yards. And it also, conveniently enough, tells you to sight in at two and three quarters inches at 100 yards. So you know if this cartridge and your gun is sighted in at two and three quarters inches at 100, you go out in the field and you can shoot from zero to 258 without any holdover and you will be within your vital kill zone. That is really how this, the benefit of maximum point blank range uh, in its application is that it, it takes the need for you to execute holdovers out of the equation up to a certain distance, right? Uh, to understand how this works, a really cool thing that they have here is also create your own ballistic trajectory calculator. Um, 2700, we'll keep that the same. What did I say? I think those are 165 grain bullets. Uh, three, three, one, sight height one and a half inches over bore. One thing you want to know is that the wind speed on this deal um, is always defaults to 10 miles an hour and at 90 degrees. I just set those to zero and zero so that I will account for wind on the fly in the field based on actual conditions. And then um, you can decide how many of these rows of data you want. We'll just go ahead and set that to 10 and at 100 yards zero create the graph so the last um, on the mpbr calculator that they provided they said we could go out to 258 without any holdover uh, with uh, i think it was a 220 yard zero if you zero your rifle at 100 and we said on a six inch target three inches up three inches down is our window of comfort all of a sudden, your maximum point blank effective range is 180 yards. So we're costing ourselves quite a bit of shooting distance by using that 100 yard zero. And I'd really encourage you to go in here and put in your own particular cartridge and play with the numbers and see what happens. I th what they advocate for, 185 yard zero on their automatic calculator. Create it. I think it took us out to 258, was that correct? Mm. close right in there right uh, and you're not three inches high or three inches low all the way through that trajectory up to that point and that's the important thing uh, remember when you are doing this you need to make sure that when you establish what your vital zone is if it, they do the math for you on the MP uh, BR calculator in this place in this application you need to think in terms of whatever you set your vital zone at divided by two because you can be high that much or low that much to give you a total of the vital zone six inch vital zone three inches high or three inches low three plus three is six if we zero this at 220 
where do we end up? Let's see. We're within our three inch parameters, although we get pretty stinking close at 130. And then we start to drop and we're yeah, just a hair over 250, right? This is probably close to what the last one was. I didn't, I didn't make a note of it. Um, so anyway, this is just a real handy tool to get you to understand ballistically what different zeros do to your long range capabilities and how it affects what you can do without having to hold over. 200 yard zero, it's easy to keep in my head, puts me two and a quarter inches high at 100, right? You always, it's easier, it, who's got it? You might have a 200 yard range, but if you don't, you need to know where you gotta put the bullet at 100 to then effectively be zero at 200. And again, that gets us out to like 240 yards, right? So I hope you enjoyed this. I would again, go to shootercalculator.com and play with your particular loads, your uh, ballistic coefficients and, and kind of see what you come up with. If you're shooting a gun that is intended to put meat in the freezer, thinking in terms of maximum point blank range might be helpful to you, might be helpful to avoid having to do on the fly calculations for holdover in your head. So it might be helpful to help you put food in the freezer. Uh, I hope you found this helpful and uh, we will keep um, hopefully informational videos coming if you guys find this useful. Thanks a lot. We'll see you later.